All right. Where are we? What is up, my friends, my folks, my people? Welcome into Saturday. We get a little more energy on Saturdays because I drank my orange juice this morning. How y'all doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. We're doing some mining today. And, uh, oh boy. I hope it works out. We've been seeing a lot of server crashes and stuff this week, so, like, you never know what's going to happen, but we're going to try out solo mining today and see if it is dead with these multi-crew updates. I mean, many of you already know the answer. We've been watching mining for about a month now, but I haven't really gotten to go out and spend good time in a prospector mining yet, so I wanted to get out today um, and get some gadgets, get some components, really feel it out, but I also wanted to see what we could do with trading out prospector bags so i've actually got a couple people standing by and what i'm going to do is i'm going to be out mining in the prospector and of course we're almost dying of thirst as is tradition um so i'll be out on the prospector doing the mining and what i want to do is have somebody running a cargo ship back and forth from the mining area that i'm in to the refining station nearby take out my prospector bags, take them to the station, and then somebody else at the station be able to accept them in another prospector and sell it there. I, I just want to see how cumbersome that process is. And I think it's going to be very boring for the person who's at the station, which is why it probably won't be realistic. But I thought it'd be a fun test to run here on stream with you guys. We can chat. We can do some mining. We can kick back a little bit. Maybe eat some oranges. And, uh, you know, spend Saturday. Woohoo Saturdays. But welcome in. Ito, I saw you coming in. First in the chat. 07, buddy. Thanks for coming in. Exploit. Good to see you. Squirrel Games. Hog and Grown Ma. Nigel. Welcome. Briggs. Hello, Planelander. Dirty Noodles. We got some dirty noodles in here now. Though. Oh, God. Noodles are so good. Love some nudes. Unloading Whale. 07. GII still using Gilded? Yes. Our event managers use Gilded in order to figure things out behind the scenes when they need to. Yeah, Jace, the bags come off now. Finally, we're getting there. Progress. Things happen. You have an issue trying to resolve your F2. It's not registering. Is there a way to fix this? F2? Two-factor authentication? No. Oh, F2 button? Uh. Yeah, that should pull out your Moby Glass. You should double check the key binding. Tankus, Zatana Satara, Eminence, Shadow, and Arno. 07, everybody. Welcome. Welcome in. How you doing? Isn't Zatana the name of uh, the... Is it Young Justice? Magician? Wasn't that... Or maybe it was Zatara. I feel like one of those names was the name of a character from Young Justice. This week you found out group play with bounties is great for generating salvage for vultures and reclaimer crews. Yeah, that's actually something that we're... I think we've run it once as an org, and we're going to start running it more often. Basically, we plan on doing a Starfarer, a Reclaimer, and like three or four Furies. The Furies stay in the Starfarer, it jumps in, takes out the bounties, gets back in the Starfarer, Reclaimer does the salvaging, Starfarer goes to the next place, um, and if they need to, pick up the cargo from the Derelict and does the same thing. That's kind of our our game plan. The hand mining has an extraction function now. I hear that that was kind of broken. Is it still working as intended? Hand mining. Uh, you can use F1 to pull it up, then rotate over to the flight pathing panel as long as you're not in heavy armor. Yeah, I mean, you can always just pull up it, pull up the Moby Glass and do it this way, but it's nice to be able to just hit a button. It's very broken. <laughs> it's better to pick it up by hand. See, that's the crappy part. It's like they put in these nice quality of life fixes and then those fixes break. <laughs> You're like, okay, well, can you quality of life or quality of life? Can you add quality to my quality? Yo, dog. I love the 2000s references. The the 2000s exhibit references never get old. 
It's what you start to do when you get bored on the MSR. <laughs> you took your hurricane out to play. You were followed by a multiple vultures. You made big money. Yo. It's so fun that, like, we have custom, interesting sandbox methods of playing the game now that, like, not everybody is doing. There are a significant amount of ways to progress through this game. In... And that has changed so much since just the beginning of this year. We're we're in month six. We're halfway through 2023, and look at how much the game has changed. This this is going to be the biggest year for this game so far. Easy. Oh, Ace over here with the ten dollar super chat. Thank you, my man. Thanks for the streams. Thank you for always coming to them and blessing them. You're honestly, you like, uh, you do $10 at a time, but man, you are, are a huge part of our support. Thank you so much for that. Okay, where are we? Can we close this, please? Let me just go ahead and put that back. Just take that, put that back. No? I'm just going to leave this open? This feels, this feels like a hazard. I feel like somebody might fall in this. Me, specifically. I will fall in this. Ah, okay. What is the, uh, what is the secret? Is it the, I think it's the king, right? This looks like the queen. Either way, we'll try it. I hope this is right. No, it's not right. It would say place here if it was right. Okay. Is it black or white? Put that there. And, oh, hey, okay, I see. Cool, so that was the right piece. It just, it was off. We good. Better organ group play, but no love to the solo players. No love. Vulture is a lot of love for the solo players. I mean, I guess it is kind of a two-person ship. There wasn't enough salvage ships in your group to get it all. Still had fun, wow. One hurricane and a few vultures, and there wasn't enough salvage uh, ships. I will say this. I don't think solo gameplay is going to be all that enticing until the economy is better. Because the scale, you can't really scale up solo without a ship. You can kind of scale up with reputation, but like we don't have... We don't have deep enough systems, I think, to make solo gameplay as interesting as multi-crew. And, and even then, multi-crew will probably always be more interesting there will be more gameplay for people who are playing multiplayer all right so we're gonna head into this cluster here and hop over to the local space station uh i want to base out a crew l1 for now for two reasons first i've done all my mining around r corp that is our home base for the org right now 319 new player experience i thought it'd be a good idea for us to be based there so that anybody who joins the organ as a new player still gets the experience but also I want to upgrade my MSR. This bad boy here, named the Good Listener, is a uh, is my is my daily driver. Probably until the C2 comes out, or the C1 comes out by the same company, which will end up replacing this as my daily driver. But for now, I am a MSR slut. I love this ship, but it's slow, and it needs new components. So I'm gonna head over to the local component shop at uh, Crusader, which is right over here. So I wanted to come over here, base this guy out of here so I have a daily driver in this station, and then do some mining in the local moons from here once I get my prospect, they're all geared up. So yeah, we're changing things up a little bit. Probably for the next couple of weeks, I'll think I'll base out of, uh, I will go ahead and base out of this station unless we're doing events. Which we probably are. If we're doing events for the org, I'll probably have to go back to Arcorp. But for now, I think I'm going to keep this place as my home. 25 months with 26 and 27 prepaid. 25. 25 months of what? Oh, is there salvage nearby? That's very close. What is it? C8R. Huh. Uh, 
All right, let's get landed. Let's get our prospector geared up. I'm not trying to wait too long. Lord Skippy gifting out a membership over here. Why are my mods gifting out memberships? You guys, I think you understand how this works. Thank you, man, though. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Arno, welcome to the... Uh, you can't say sub club. It doesn't work. Welcome to the Blendership membership, buddy. That doesn't work either. Enjoy the benefits. <laughs> I got nothing. Like the recent lore stream? Um, I do a recent lore stream? Wait, what le recent lore stream? What am I missing? Yo, Unloading Whale, thanks for the Prime sub on Twitch, dude. That is much appreciated. Goes a long way. Sub anniversary thing didn't go through properly. Oh, okay. It was your sub. Zerb, thank you for being subbed for 25, 26, 27 freaking months. More than two years? Homie, you have been around the block. We've been around the sun a couple times, dude. That's awesome. Thank you so much. It's it's really cool. I'm happy to be doing more of these like more regular streams, um, because folks like like you, Reese, I see you. Like there are folks in the chat that have been around here for a long time, like longer than I've been living here, and it's cool to get to see you guys a little more often throughout the week. I feel like three times a week is not enough. Like four minimum, five is nice. been a sub almost as long as you've been playing sc almost as long as i've been streaming too i think i'm coming up on my three year actually with this month next month i think next month will be my three year of of streaming which is doesn't feel like it's been three years i i still <laughs> i still feel like i'm going up for the first time sometimes Ruboy, doing pretty well Rock mining's going well. Usually the natural progression is moving on to the prospector. But you're hearing a lot of rock miners say that it's worth it now. Yeah, rock mining's doing pretty well. It's making people a lot of money. Uh, where am I going? I need to get my prospector here first. And then I'll buy some stuff to put on it. Okay. Oh, crap. I put my helmet on. Ugh. I hate it when I do that. Okay, I have a multi-tool. Does that have a tractor beam attachment, though? I can't inspect it. Oh, I can. Cool. Okay. Uh, oh, it has the salvage attachment. Okay, so I need to get a tractor beam attachment. Crap, I don't think they have one of those here. Which means I am out of luck. Let's see what they've got. A grid ship viewer at the ASOP. Not this long list nonsense. Yeah, the list is terrible. And I do struggle with the helmet. I'm not used to having to wear a helmet everywhere I go. Like, what what year is it? Come on. It's not medieval times. <laughs> they didn't even know how to make helmets back then, right? Besides, like, just on the top of your head helmets. Is there a tractor beam in here? That's good. That helps. I'm hoping I can afford another laser, too. But first things first, let's grab the tractor beam attachment and some food. Right. 
Actually, I'll just get Cruz. Okay. And now the mining stuff. Utility. Now, I definitely want some focus modules. Oh man, I hope they have that here. I don't see it. Crap. That sucks. Okay, in that case, uh, we will go with a Helix 1 laser, I think. It's got up to 3150 power. Hofstede's got up to 2100. Yeah, so I probably want a Helix. Comes with two slots as opposed to... The Klein comes with zero. Hofsted comes with one. Arbor with one. Lancet with one. Yeah, so we want a Helix. And... Uh, Oh, nice. Focus modules. Oh, right. I can't put this in my backpack. Of course. That would... That would be strange. You hope I find the good stuff? So do I. Thanks, dude. Okay, so focus... Ones are on here let's see helix is going to boost our it's going to lower our optimal charge window size so we're going to want to focus for sure and i'll probably want something else that could possibly lower resistance I could definitely get, let's see, laser instability, optimal charge window, and resistance down. Yeah, this one's going to be very useful for us. Raises up our instability a lot, though. So we probably also then want to do a module that lowers instability. That raises resistance. I think they, I don't think any of them affect instability. Mining laser power plus 85, jeez. Shatter damage minus 10, laser instability minus 10. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would have to go with the stampede at best. That's not great. <laughs> Corbin, thank you for the Prime sub, man. Appreciate you and your support. You dang, Corbin. How you doing today? You sent me 150. Oh, I, I appreciate it. Um, but I do I do enjoy the the challenge of not having enough money. So I want to try and uh struggle through, you know? I thank you though. I really do appreciate it. Optimal charge window size plus 30. Mining laser power 85. Yeah, the focus is nice, but... Can you put a, a, a focus 2 module on a size 1 laser? Is this size based? Because they have a focus 3. If that's the case, I'd definitely get a focus 2 module to put on here. And I'm not going to be able to do anything about instability, I think. I, that's going to mess me up, though. I really got to... I'm going to have to get a stampede, I think. Best I can do. Because we can't have that high of instability. So I'll get two of these. And we will put these on when we need to. You use the Focus 3? Okay, in that case, I'm going to get a Focus 3 instead of that Focus 1. This would have been the end of my money, though, if it weren't for memory. Thank you. Okay. So I think we've got our setup now. Um, let's see. Let me get... Uh, hey, Reserve. Hey, man. What's up? 
nothing much. Just getting uh, outfitted here. I'm going to be mining out at Daymar. So, um, how do you want to try and do this? Uh, you know, you remember what I was going to, what I wanted to do, trading the prospector bags out? Yeah, no, I, I yeah. I have the I have the cover thing here. I'm at Krill one right now. Oh, okay, cool. So you're you're here. Have you yeah. done that before? With the bags? No, I have I've I've not. Cool. We'll be experimenting together. Yes, we will. Crap, I forgot the helmet, so I'm gonna have to go somewhere and grab one real quick. I'm mining out a crusader area. Woody Bear, good to see you. What is this music? What is this? What am I listening to? No! I did not bring a surge with me. But I do have the helix and I have the, uh... I have a gadget for lowering resistance. So I think I should be okay when it comes to at least smaller rocks. I'm not too focused on getting the largest ones. Although that is going to suck if I run into something. I mean, I will run into things I can't get. Here we are. Helmets, 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 helmets. I'll just get this. Something simple. Just whatever I find. I'm looking for something valuable. It could be gold. We could look for gold. We done searching for gold, Shawnee. But we'll see what we find. Whatever's out there. I don't know what kind of minerals spawn around this area. It is a new area for me, which is kind of why I'm doing this. In fact, I need to pull up our spreadsheet so I could start adding these values that we find into the GII database. Oh, and I'll reset my spawn. Dunzo. Sorry, give me a second, guys. Just looking for something real quick. Um, what the heck is going on? I'm trying to find that form, but it is escaping me. There we are. No, that's not. I'm so confused. Where the heck? Medical concerns got you worried? Forget that stress. Just relax. Forget that stress. I am lost. I can't find this form. This is crazy. I could have sworn that I had this saved on my computer. Okay, I'll, I'll find this as we go along. What the hell? Uh, let's get back to the ship. Don't talk about those crashes. I don't want to hear anything about them. Disgusting. Going for the lower a Hofstede might be a better option. Gives you more control as laser power starts at 5%. Oh, that's true. That does mess you up. Well, let's see how it goes with this, with this setup we have right now. See what happens. What? Didn't I send the prospector here? You'd like to see two prospectors or two moles go out? Ugh. 
one focused on mining whatever they come across the other targeting just the tier one ores and seeing how much they make after the same t amount of time that sounds like a fun event for us to set up for the org like a little competition all right why can i not find this mining stuff this is so weird i want to get a, a helmet uh, yeah, I've got one. I haven't put it on. Good, at least. Hmm. Okay, I found the spreadsheet. How do I find the form for it? I don't know. Tools. Help. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. I'm so lucky finding this shit at a random bunker. <laughs> I think we're going to have well. a problem with selling from that, though, if it's not yours? Uh, I I actually don't know. I have, I have no clue. Yeah, I can't find this form. I will just have to go without it, I guess. Yeah. What's the form? Uh, it's our mining data. It's how we're collecting the mining oh. data for the org, but I, I don't, it's not in our, like, it's not in our, our org Google, Google Drive, so I'm having trouble finding where it's, where it's been posted. That's, uh, that's good. Oh. Uh. Industry? Science? Here we go. I think this is it. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Alright, good, good, good. Okay. Now we can do this. So. Scroll down to our prospector. Change out our laser. Toss on the focus. Toss on the stampede. No paints. Too bad. What is that, Lord Skippy? Wait, we have a uh, we have we're using a, uh, a a form now. What is that one? Oh, it's like a guide to mining. Interesting. Oh no, I was looking for our uh, our data sheet for GII so I could put down what I find. Did I put on? Tractor beam, check. Oh no, not a cheat sheet. Thank you though. I, I will probably refer to that when I'm at a loss. Let's hop in our ship and get out of here. Oh, did we get a super sticker? Ron, thank you. I appreciate your support and that uh, dog you posted in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I always forget to use Jay. Thank you. How's the bushwhacking? I'm not whacking no bushes. We haven't even gotten out of the space station yet. Good to see you, Cypress.
There she is. So like I said, I'm not looking for anything in particular out here, but I will be focusing mainly on the more uh, valuable material. So I'm not just going to get anything that, that shows up. And the plan then is for reserve around here somewhere to come and pick up these bags and give me some from their, their own prospector. leave this here I actually should have some crews so you the first thing you'll need to do is get the bags out of your own prospector and into your cargo ship wait I need a prospector yeah that was yeah I thought we... another person was coming with a prospector I thought it was just a prospector to cargo then cargo to prospector. oh no yeah you need a prospector as well oh uh, could they exchange one of my ships for a prospector? Well, I don't know if I would keep this ship as well. Yeah. I mean, that's all right. It's no big deal. That's not, wasn't a requirement of the, uh, of the mining. So I can still get everything else done. Okay. All right. You were just testing, like, if you could do it from that way. Okay. Yeah. And you, yeah, they're saying in the chat, you can rent one if... If you have the money for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it's it's if I keep this ship that I have right now. The, oh, um, because you can't store it. Big one. Well, what other yeah, ships no, do you have? Fine. Uh, nothing, nothing good. <laughs> Mainly uh, bombers. You you volunteered <laughs> for a, a job that <laughs> was very specific to ships. Uh, I mean, I got this one for free, so you know, it's a big cargo ship. Well, yeah, I mean, that's okay. I can do the transportation back and forth. It's, I don't think that'll be too bad. Okay. Thank you. But uh, thank what you. do you need me to do? Uh, nothing. Nothing. That nothing? was, okay. yeah, that was the, the cargo was it. But thank you. Uh, I appreciate you jumping uh, no in for that. I can protect you if you want. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. I, that'd be cool. Sure. Uh, just invite me to the party so I can see where you're going. Are you not in the party? No, I didn't get invited. How you been today? How's how's your Saturday going? Eh, it's all right. It's been busy. Busy? Yep. Working podcast. Uh, Just yeah, had a nice. podcast episode, folks, with Yamix. Had him on for a good hour and a half, and we talked uh, basically all the problems with Star Citizen he has. It's oh, it, that's a lot. <laughs> it gets. It gets a little bit heated at times, but it is a very good talk. You, I think you guys might be surprised at his opinion of the game and what he thinks would constitute an actual release of Star Citizen, because um, it's... he. I mean, he has plenty of criticisms for it, but it was more positive than I expected. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that is... Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing that, that one was uh, supporter only? Yeah. Yeah, the live ones are only for supporters. It comes uh, out on Monday, though. It'll come out normally. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fine. Might have to do something about that, though. You know, buy a, uh, whatever I need to. No pressure. We try to do, I mean, besides behind the scenes, we try to release everything for supporters out to everybody else at some point. Yeah. Understandable. 
Uh, you found a... Well, appreciate it. You found a, uh, a planet where you found a bunch of quant... Has strangely been on Daymar. I guess they kind of maybe mixed it up a bit. That's where I was hoping to head, so that's good to hear. Oh my god. Crap, I didn't transfer any of the freaking gadgets and stuff. Ah. All right, so this first round we're going to have to be... Ah, dang it. We will not be as uh, well equipped. God, I hate this crap. I hate when you just, for no reason, you can't turn anymore. No reason at all. Yeah, I can't turn my ship. Yeah, I hit right shift. I've hit right shift a lot of times. I f this is so annoying. <sighs> What's up, money? How you doing? All right, hopefully that fixed it. There we go. Okay, now I can turn. Simple things. All right, first we're going to jump on over here and see what we can find. Now, right shift was not helping. Your joystick breaks that lock. Oh, that's right. If you have a peripheral connected, it can just randomly uh, think that that's what's controlling the game. Yesterday was a solid stream. It was good times. I like talking about that future gameplay. We've got good stuff on the way. All right, we're going to Eager. And, uh... And here we are. And down to the surface we go. I'm actually going to throw in something a little bit more spacey for this. And let's be on our way. I like those hills over there. How about we head to those and see if there's anything good. Got some hits. Not quite where I want to be, though. Let's keep going. Why is my eye tracker not up? Let's get that up and running. All right, I like this stretch with these hills. Uh, I am on a 3080 Ti graphics card. Okay, maybe there's not very many mineables in these hills. <laughs> What's up, with Mystic?
Here we are. Hey, Pedro, you used my discount? Thank you. Hope you enjoy the eye tracker. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, what do we got here? Oh, they're just ground mineables. Dang it. There's gold in these hills. Toby versus track IR. Is it worth the conversion to Toby? I haven't used the track IR, but I think the Toby eye tracker is better. It's because you get two different forms of tracking. Eye tracking is very nice. The big difference between eye tracking and head tracking for me is the fact that you don't have to move your head at all for the camera to move. And when you're looking at a computer screen, I think that comes, it's, it's much more natural than using your head solely. Didn't I just see? Am I, am I dumb? I could have sworn I just saw. Ah, there we go. All right, our first find. Let's see what we've got. is messed up again. I can't turn. It's the actual worst, like, worst possible glitch. <laughs> what are they thinking with this? Like, what is this? Why, how, why is this even a possibility? get out of my chair. How dark can it see before Toby stops working? I've I've done it in complete darkness. Yeah, even through glasses. God, I'm I'm really I'm going to lose it with this glitch. There we go. No, it's back. What is this? Oh, okay. Maybe that'll help. Nope, it didn't help. Okay. It's the servers? But why would the servers only affect one specific direction of rotation? I don't know. This doesn't make sense. If I hold right shift, it, I'm fine. But I have to hold right shift. 
As soon as I stop holding it... There we go. Uh. Huh. Well, I'm not in the States. God, can I at least just scan these rocks now? Ah, uh, that's a big rock. I'm not going to be able to do this one without the gadgets. Why is Prospector Mining dead? I don't know if it's dead. Ooh, is Terranite good? Well, I can't hit this one anyways. Oh, look at all these. What do we have here? I don't know if Terranite is any good to mine, if it's worth anything. It's a lot of copper, though. So, not crazy about that. Plenty of Terranite. Third best to mine. Well, that's not bad. Maybe if I had my gadgets, we could have made use of it. But I think I would need something to lower that uh, resistance. Either way, I'm going to record it. So we've got... Oh, it's a 40,000 mass rock. There's no way I'm going to be able to break this. 40,997. We've got uh, Terranite at 30%, and we've got copper at 60%. Okay, well, that's a bummer. On to the next. Oh, hey look, it's the next. This one's also freaking huge though. I'm not gonna be able to break this. Oh, 7,000, okay. I guess it's a low density material. Hephaestonite. We're not crazy about Hephaestonite around these parts. But I will take it down. Uh, it's at 7423 with Hephaestonite at 40 at 50% and copper at 50%. Nice. It's a good split. Really worth upgrading saddle bads, you mean for the mole? I am at Daymar right now. Actually, I could probably do that. Um, because I think I do have a mole, so maybe when we return, I'll go ahead and swap these out for the mole bags. Dang. A lot of ground mineables. Or, uh, rock mineables popping up. Yeah, you can swap out for the mole bags. Oh, 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 oh crap, dang it. <sighs> 30k. Well, at least I hadn't yeah, mined well. anything yet, so. There's that. Now I guess we can start with the swap mole bags. God, that's annoying, though. I'm 
might have to go all the way to menu. Yeah, and my gadgets and stuff. Which is good, right? Because if those gadgets and everything was on the prospector, uh, I would... Hmm? No, I would have just lost commodities, right? No, the bags... The bags are the same size, but the mole bags hold more. Think rock mining is more profitable? Really depends on how fast you are. I think you could be... I Like, I'm personally not great at the... At regular mining, while some people can find good things really fast. Go oh, salvage the ship. If it's still there. Yeah, mole, mole bags hold more. Forty-eight SU. It doesn't really make much sense, does it? They're just okay with overloading it more. All right, I'm gonna launch back in. I'm not in. I'm in the menu. Yeah, I'm gonna launch us in. Oh, okay. Okay, so first attempt, uh, we couldn't mine anything that we actually wanted to. I guess the Hephaestonite we didn't want. But other than that, the other stuff we found is just too big. Which has been my experience mostly so far with uh, solo mining now. But we're going to get back out there and see if that will remain true. I think I'll go right back out to Eager Flats area. You don't have your own mole, so you just picked up one of the salvage missions and swapped theirs. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good idea. Were you? Were, did those stay with your ship? Like, was that a permanent change to your prospector? Uh, the patch has been running rough. It's not been doing great. We just got back from a crash. Yeah, you can double team the rocks if you got two. Although two prospectors together is pretty difficult now. Not the not the best way to do it anymore. You lose them if you claim them. That makes sense. Okay. Elevator. <laughs> you want to Come to the floor? Oh my god. <laughs> that woman just died. Sheesh. Alright, screw this. They're, am I trapped? Oh, is that why they just died? Good call, good call, good call. Alright, yeah, we might have to kill ourselves here. Oh, nope, we're good. Med room is on the first floor. Are saddlebags actually implemented? You haven't been following the game super closely. Yes, you can trade them out now. It's not it's not all smooth, but it works. Ah, uh, now we get the prospector back. We got three and a half minutes. Hmm. I 
can't even. Nice moves. Um, I'm going to go back to the refinery and grab one more saber, I think. How satisfied am I with the medical gameplay loop? Not very. I think the beacons are cool, but I don't... I think that the damage system is too limited to allow medics to actually be medics in combat. It's plenty of fun to go and revive people, but it would be more fun to... We don't have long enough missions, long enough combat missions to take advantage of being a combat medic. And I think being a combat medic is going to be the more interesting part of this game than flying around and just reviving folks. Alright, so we got... Yeah, this is gonna be, I think... It's really these resistance measurements that I'm looking for. What lowers resistance? Hofstede lowers resistance. Okay, I'm gonna take that with me. But I have to put it on on ship, right? I can't have it in the ship inventory. Because you can't get it out. You cannot buy the bags for the mole. Forgot to raid out. Hope you had a good stream tune in just as I 30k'd. Were you on today, Crouch? Hey... Uh, time? Can I just call you time? Did we know the Misk Razor is supposed to be Mirai now? Yeah, it is. They changed up the brand for that ship now. Uh, is that on purpose? I don't know. I'm not sure what their plans are with the bags. Because it doesn't really make much sense that one can hold physically more than the other. No way. Did I just crash? What's going on? Did I just crash? Am I crashed? I can't tell. The game's still here. Ah, oh, god dang it. I think we just crashed out. Ailing NPCs need to be part of the gameplay loop. It's too dependent on players. Oh yeah, that's a that's what a lot of gameplay loops are missing right now. AI to make them matter. I the game is frozen. Yeah. It's, God. Ah. All right, relaunching. So far, we've been here for an hour. Haven't, uh, haven't touched a rock yet. <laughs> Ship it. Gameplay on PTU is way better at the moment. It is known. It's how it be. PTU is always a tease. Oh, it's going to be annoying. We're going to be all the way back at Cruel 1. Any favorite space stations? There are a couple space stations that not many people go to that have the most beautiful gas clouds. Like those purple and blue shades. Love them. Did you also crash out? I oh, left. All right, then I will just load back in. Is this player unstowed? Don't give me that. You'd like to see the mole saddle bags available to purchase at mining kiosks and swappable in the vehicle loadout manager. I would too. I do hope that they somehow make them look bigger, like so that it makes sense that they carry more stuff. 
Ambitious dream. That's a... Uh... Isn't that Hurston L1? Or something? It's weird that the PTU is always great. It used to be kind of the other way around. PTU is pretty rough. Hey, that's nice. We loaded in uh, right here. have everything on there. Hanging up one. Oh, crew L1 is okay. That's where I am. So I would have to get the laser out here in the ship. Um, I can transfer these over. Toss that in. Uh, hello? Where did the other gadget just go? It just disappeared. Why though? Why did it just disappear? What happened? I just lost a gadget. What's up with that? Those things cost money! Oh, that's incredibly annoying. And I can't because I'm in an armistice zone, so I can't get the laser out. So how do you get these? How do you get the... How do you get Hoff's... I don't understand. How do you get lasers anywhere? Yeah, that sucks. The inventory just ate that gadget. Just Star Citizen things. Did it equip? Let me see. Use the VLM to equip them, then use the tractor beam to pull them off. I see. So you have to do it before you equip you spawn the ship. Oh yeah, you're right. There it is. Sneaky. I didn't like that. I don't like that you did that. Get in here. Yeah, I can't access this right now. Ah, God, it's these kinds of little lim limitations that really make this game a rough experience. Thank you. 
Back out to Daymar we go. Don't use the multi-tool on the hangers. You can use it on the landing pad. Yeah, but they don't let you spawn the, the lasers in an armistice zone. Strangely enough. Do I not have a helmet on? Oh, I don't. Dang it. That means I left it at the station. Ah, I'm that dummy. How do you equip? You have to get it out into another area, pull it off manually, and then put it on. Dang it. You always give me the bad news after it's too late. <laughs> You couldn't drop them outside of Armistice? You have to pull it off your Prospector. So you have to... Crouch explained it and... Uh, oh, you can't see that. You have to equip them to your Prospector, then pull it off. Final leg of the trip. Actually, not really. It's like the second to final leg. Eh, third to final. Now we try again. This time I'm going to go to Kudra. Kudra's always got some interesting stuff going on. Am I right or am I right? Who doesn't like Kudra? They've also got a cave there we can go check out real quick. Where are we even going? I don't even... Oh, there's the there's the cave. Let's check it out real quick. Who hasn't been here before? You don't get notifications any longer when I'm live? That's weird. You got the little, like, bell thing on YouTube selected? wonder if that has something to do with... How long has that been happening, Supposit? Oh, that is a ground? That's a... I thought it was a vehicle cave over here, a sinkhole. That doesn't... Wait, hold on. This is Kudra... Oh, did they change the type of cave out here? Lamos. 
All right, in that case, let's go find some mineables. Just tried to remove it and add the bell again. Okay. Pedro, it's been happening the last four streams for you as well. Yo, are they messing me up on notifications? That's that's not kind, to YouTube. That could make some sense for, uh... Stream performance. What do we have here? Please be something we can break. Okay, is my... No. A shale deposit. Uh, a greasium and titanium. How is a greasium nowadays? Is that worth breaking? A greasium used to be pretty good. Titanium and hephaestonite. Titanium and hephaestonite. I might as well take this down at least. Titanium at 40%, hephaestonite at 60%. Gonna do another Damar. Kudra Ower. We are at 1862. That's a small rock. Barrel. We got barrel up in here. Barrel and titanium. At 60%. Nice. Agresium is the bottom of the worth breakable list. Hephaestonite and Agresium both about the same price. Okay. Um, I'm going to then probably skip out on these. I don't really see that being all that useful to me. But I am going to take down one more of these. Got 3279 on the mass. Titanium at 40%. And Hephaestonite at 40%. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip out on these. We're going to keep looking for some other stuff that's a little more valuable, but solid first sign. Guess your bell was set to personalized for some reason. Trying to curate the experience. What is that? Because <laughs> you're a member, they just, it's supposed to be bookmarked. You're supposed to open Chrome and the, the YouTube channel pops up as your homepage. Uh, Mabutu, you don't get notifications either. They just, they messed us up, huh? They're trying to break up the crew. They're trying to get in between us. Don't let them. <laughs> don't let them get away with it. If it weren't for you pesky kids. Rolling up on another deposit at Kudra Ore. Closed up. Wow, this is a lot of rocks. I hope this... I hope something here has something useful. More Agresium. Igneous deposit. Those are fun. Solid size rock at 5,400. Barrel and titanium. Nice. 5,409... Barrel at 30%. Titanium at 40. Okay. Sure, why not? What's this? Another igneous deposit. Uh, 3,000 mass. Titanium at 43%. Hephaestonite at 36. These are all crackable. 
um, by a prospector. Like, all of this is completely doable by a prospector, a stock prospector like that. But I don't know about value. I guess at some point I'm going to have to just bite the bullet and, and mine this stuff so that we can start to get an idea of how... Uh, how much you can earn doing just that. But for now, I kind of just want to go for something more valuable than all this. I'm trying to be rich, you know? A felsic deposit. 29,000 mass. Now we're talking. Copper. Are you serious? For crafting purposes, this would be amazing. And for that reason, I'm going to record it. Because at some point, we'll be needing to use copper to make things, and that's a lot of copper. 29,382 at 70% copper is going to get you the good stuff. But I don't want copper, so we'll move on. Barrel is good for cargo haulers, but terrible for miners. Why is that? Hephaestonite. Come on. I might just start mining Hephaestonite. It seems like there's quite a bit of it here. We could just do Hephaestonite and, ag and Agrisium. Since it does seem like those are our options. Best price for barrel is 2,800. Agrisium is 3,200. Yeah, so I'd stick to Agrisium. And Hephaestonite, Boris, Bexalite. See, I'm not finding any of those top, top uh, tier ones. Here's Barrel again. So of the ones I keep finding, Hephaestonite's actually pretty low. But it does seem like it's going to be my cash crop because there's a Festonite everywhere and not much else. Hey, here's some gold. I'll take that. We'll grab some gold, yeah? Here out on Daymar. Kudra Ore is giving us 61 146 kilograms of rock including 20% gold and of course 60% copper do I have a bore max if I have a bore saber saber no, I have two sabers. Okay. If I had a bore max, I'd probably put it on this to see if we can get a better split on the gold. Well, let's take it out. Should be a pretty simple one. Wow, my optimal window is not very big. Come on. Is this for real? This is a 6,000 mass rock. Why is it saying easy if I can't break it easily? Oh, yeah, I don't have a helmet. You're right. That was stupid of me. The barrel root microtech, you can get 20% profit every run. I see. That's actually pretty cool. Because of the trade lanes, you get a better profit on it, but it's not good to mine. 
Does that, does that mean it's better to mine barrel out at Microtech? Or basically find wherever it is good to mine barrel and then send them out to Microtech to sell? Okay, go down. What the hell? Why? Are you for real? <laughs> oh, God dang it. I hate that. Ugh. I just knocked off my components. Oh, I hate that. As soon as it gets into that range it just suddenly won't stop going up like a asshole that was definitely not worth it that was not worth it at all that was a that was a complete failure i'm not even getting good bre good gold breaks here either dang it just a whole bunch of copper yeah, if I had a helmet, I could, uh, you know, play the game normally. I'll take that. It's not much. Whatever. Basically, it was nothing. It wasn't even an SCU. None of the rest of this is really worth getting. I might just start going for Hitfest tonight here. All right, let's try for one more. See what we can find. And if I can only find Hitfest tonight and stuff, then we will just continue that way. Oh man, that's depressing. That was a... Basically, now I'm using a stock prospector. And that, my friends, is why you get good at mining. This is in the PU. you got here, buddy? Quartzite deposit. Barrel. Nice. Super cool. Love it. Screw your barrel. Baxalite! Ah, oh, the rock's too big! <sighs> Dang it. That is just... so sad. Um, what are we looking at? We're looking at 40% Bexalite and 45? 50% Titanium? 100% Disappointment. Let's see if I can even like put a dent in it or something.
Yeah, this isn't even gonna budge. Bummer. Well, let's see what else we've got here, at least. Oh, this rock's pretty big, too. I swear, if this is Bexolite as well, I'm gonna lose it. Terranite. Doesn't make me feel as bad. And I think we already scanned that one. Yeah, what's over here? Oh, can't wait for the Misk Expanse. Titanium and Hephaestonite. They love that combo. And what is this? Oh, did I already... Wait, I'm missing one. This one. Titanium. All right. Too bad. Did it say challenging? Telling me impossible. And now I have no stupid, stupid, dumb modules to put on it. Because they're dumb. It's actually me that's dumb, but I'm going to blame them. Yeah, see, I'm not even going to... Wait, what? Why is my laser... My laser is lowering the... Why is the helix lowering the window size? Oh, because I lost the focus. Jeez, I really freaking screwed myself over. You're gonna have to be more careful about that. Do I use Hotas? No, I'm using mouse and keyboard. Just gotten quite used to it. <laughs> Alright, we're in the plains now. I hope that these fare better for us than the hills. What I need is like 6,000 mass, 80% gold. Hit me with it. Come on. Please. Think out of all the solo slash solo bowl multi crew ships that aren't in game yet, the one that excites you the most is the Apollo. For me, it's the Vulcan. Gosh, I'm so excited for the Vulcan. Apollo's an exciting one, too, though. Oh, there's more hills over there. The hills seem to have. Mineables. Not eyes, just mineables. Wow, wait, did that actually just prove out? As soon as we started approaching hills, we found another mineable. Hmm. I'm gonna keep looking out for that. How's the game running missions running good? Not that I know of. I've game's been running pretty poorly for a lot of people. What server am I on? I do not know. I joined on somebody else. Yeah, still can't buy the Vulcan in-game. Um, the person was referring specifically to vehicles that aren't in-game. Uh, is this a... Uh, looks like a rock mineable. Rock mineables. Should have known. Eldarian, how you doing? Oh, here we go. This must have been what I was seeing. Yes, yes. 
spawn for me. Sweet boulders. Hey, look, more freaking Hephaestonite. If I don't find anything else in this, I'm just going to take the Hephaestonite. I'm over it. Barrel. Lame. Barrel. So much barrel and Hephaestonite. Just going to be a lot of mass mining of these. Oh, I'll take this one. Mass mining of these cheaper materials. 29, 215, 30% to Grecium, 60, 70% Titanium, and what's this last one over here? Clearly too big for me to break. Oh, look, more barrel. All right, I'm just going to go and crack the Hephaestonite and go with that. I give up. 18,533. It might actually be too big. Now that I think of it, that rock was pretty, pretty large. Barrel at 30%. Titanium at 40. Is solo mining dead, Izzy? You tell me. Hello, by the way. Hi. Okay, so this one was 16. Yeah, see, this is 21k. I can't even break that. Solo mining is not dead, per se, but it's definitely more challenging. Okay, I'm not going to be able to break this either. 10,000. All right, let's move on. You really need components now. Bear ill. Ill bear. It should remove that impossible sign. I have cracked rocks I claimed were impossible and couldn't crack ones it claimed were easy. It does apparently say it, the, the rating doesn't take into account your specific laser or... Or actually, it doesn't take into account components. I think it does take into account laser. Yeah, cheaper material and quicker runs uh, feels like the way to go. Get a refinery, find a place close to that refinery, and then just start pumping jobs out. Because this is trying to find a high quality material. It's you're you're running into either rocks that aren't big enough to give you a good percentage cut for the small size of your pods, or you're running into rocks that are too big for you to break with the prospector. So I think. I think solo mining is going to depend more on these low quality materials now. See, like this would be something I should go for. I would definitely go for this if that was a Grecium instead of Barrel at 30%. Terranite. I'll actually record this one. Because that's a good sized rock. It's going to put us at... Uh, Thirty-seven thousand five hundred and fifty-one mass. Forty percent Terranite. And 60% copper. I know where this song is heading. I'm not going there. High quality materials never break cleanly and you're lucky if you can get half full of it. 
That's what the Wormax is for. If you bring a helmet with you. What do we got here? Copper. Agresium? Okay. See, I'll take this. I'll settle for this. Agresium at 30, 37%. Why not? I'll even record it down. It's a small rock, but like this is the kind of rock that I think solo miners would want to be going for. Agresium 37% in a 6,000 mass rock is like not too hard, not too easy. Should give you a, a good amount of material. Let's see if I can break it though. Let's settle in here and get optimal. This is not going to be fun. Oh my god, look at that. At least our instability isn't too high, but like... Oh god, okay. Here we go. Because like, I'm barely at minimal power and we're already going up. I'm worried what's going to happen when I get up there. Let's see. I'm going to drop the power almost all the way down. At least before optimal, that seems to slow it down. As soon as we hit that optimal range, though, I'll drop power and see what happens. Okay, so at least our minimum power doesn't push it into the overcharge rate, so we can play it safe here. I'll just keep feathering it a little bit. We'll stick in that little segment there, keep the power up. I like how even that damages my shields. <laughs> Dang, it got dark here fast. 76% Agresium, not bad. Woo, 90% Copper. No thank you. Ew. What's with all this copper? Twenty-seven percent. I wouldn't even that's not even worth it. Ah, I'll take it. What you don't understand is why mining isn't as chill as a pay loop as salvage? What do you mean by that? Like, why didn't, why isn't mining as, like, passive? I think just a different level of intensity. You know, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more applied, mining is nice. There's more barrel. It's too big. It's too big! Ooh, that's a lot of festinite, though. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can't. 
Oh, look at that! Resistance 0%, that's why. Instability is kind of high, though. We'll see what happens. But I'll take that Hephaestus tonight. Chances are we can get a decent break. Oh yeah, salvage will definitely get more interesting. Alright, coming up on our optimal. Slow it down a bit. We're good. Power down. It is annoying that salvaging is exclusive to a ship you have to... Whoa, we got a 100% break on Hephaestonite. Nice. 942 mass break of Hephaestonite at 100%. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Just straight got 9, nine SCU of that stuff out of nowhere. I thought it was going to be the same, but that's copper instead. Do I have to break this again? Since when is that a thing? Oh, get out of here. Stupid helix lowers my optimal zone. I don't know if I'm going to be able to break this. Look at how unstable it is. Look at that. What the heck? That's insane. I can't account for that. You guys see the way it's jumping around? Oh my gosh. This isn't going to happen. Oh my god. Slow down. Oh, this was a bad idea. It's not going down. It's not going down! <laughs> <laughs> there was no way I was going to get that. That was so unstable. Worth a try, though. All in good fun. Was there anything else down here I needed? What do we got? Oh God, I'm so sick of barrel. Nobody invited you. Um, all right. Here's what I say. Let's relocate a little bit back towards the sun because I don't like mining at night. And we'll fill up for this first run. We're going to get some extra supplies and stuff and go back out. And this second run's going to go so much faster and more smoothly, I promise. As an Uber driver, this is your life now, except everyone is Corundum. Yo, we, me and me and Honey, uh, we flew into we flew into New York in the JFK airport, and we were trying to get a lift, and it took us like thirty to forty minutes to get somebody to come pick us up. The first person that was supposed to pick us up straight up just sat at the other part of the airport, messaging me, asking me where I was, constantly saying like meet me here i'm like i'm i'm there it says it on the map over and over and over and over again driving around in circles not finding us until at some point he's just like i can't find you can you cancel the call are you kidding me <laughs> if you don't want to pick us up don't pick us up 
Don't make me stand out here for 40 minutes waiting. Waiting for a pickup that's never coming. It was blasphemous. There's a tiny difference in price between barrel and a greasium. Wait, is there? I thought somebody showed... I thought what I saw there, the barrel was super lower. You do keep telling me to take the barrel. Where was that? Barrel is 2700 and Agrisium is 28. Oh, I got I got Boris and, and Agrisium mixed up. That's my problem. I shouldn't have taken the Agrisium in the first place. Silly me. All right, where are we? Tamdom Plains. Put that into the nav. How do you spell it again? Tamden? Tamdon. Tamdon Plains. Age shelter. Copy that. Hey, Skippy, are you there? Morning, Jedi. Oh, that was a while ago. Barrel is pretty good. But they all seem bad. Agrisium and Barrel both seem <laughs> bad. Thankfully, you don't drive in a huge metro. Smaller city works for you. Hey, whatever works. What do we got here? Do people really play, play this scam game? Yeah, believe it or not. People also still come to watch the stream. Madness. You'd not call barrel good as it is at the bottom of the tier two. Oh, I still got my lights on. Oh, nice. I don't even have to crack this if it's any good. Is it? <sighs> more, more titanium. Whatever. You know what? Give it to me. Give me the Hephaestus tonight. Take Laronite and Boris when you find it, but grab those three when you find them and go. Okay. Four trips to the refinery already. Oh, you mean I would have had four trips already? <laughs> yeah, but Sergeant Lobster, anybody who thinks this is a scam isn't going to watch for five minutes. They'll come in, drop an edgy comment, and then leave. Tis the way. And you can usually pick those comments from, like, a, a, there's, like, a booklet, I think, that they all read. They include things like, this game is a scam, $500 million, it's still no game, my grandchildren will play this game, oh my gosh, this hasn't released yet. There's, like, a, it's like a soundboard for <laughs> comments to leave on Star Citizen videos and streams. Not that much range in tier two. It's the bottom, but the next two are less than 10% more valuable. All right, all right, all right, all right. You guys have me convinced. I'll just I'll just start going for the tier twos and be done with it. We were talking about how like solo mining you need to pick more broadly. So I guess you could say if you're solo mining, just go for tier twos. Is that safe? This is the stream with the most viewers for this game. 85 viewers, the game is dead guys. Folks, you heard it here first. YouTube streams define the health of a game. Oh boy, a lot of games are dead. <laughs> There's a lot of good dead games out there. How you doing, username? Should go on Spectrum with the scam nonsense. Stop bothering streamers. God, nobody should have to go on Spectrum. Okay. Try the Klein or Hofstede lasers. I think those are like a reasonable. Hey, I'll give you this. The uh, using the the YouTube channel, the YouTube stream as a as a judgment meter. That's a new one. That wasn't in the book. So, you know, a little more creativity there. What have I been doing? Oh my God, Crouch! You're playing a dead game. Go tell your parents. I love when people think that. Playing a game that's not popular is bad. It's like all of the articles that come out all the time and they're like, this game died in one month. And you look at it and it went from like 80,000 players to 50,000. And you're like, there's <laughs> there's still 50,000 people playing this game concurrently. 
It's not... It's not dead. It just looks dead because that's all you're looking at. Your tactic for pro mining is to go for tier 2 near 100 chunks. So, like, not the one that I just picked up. <laughs> Although it did give me, like, 3 SCU of Laranite, so that's... That's something. Ah, <sighs> these rocks. You get an engaging, thoughtful conversation with j 3 pt I don't know who that is, but I can imagine the, the joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't want that. That's copper. All right, so I'm just going to pick up whatever works here because we've got two more SCU to go. And it's barrel. I don't even need to record that. I'm just going to take whatever this is. I think it was Hephaestonite. No, not that one. This one? I think it's something here that's like 40%, 30% Hephaestonite. And what's this? Barrel. Okay, let's take this one. Why would you warn me my storage is full? Why aren't they congratulating me? Congratulations! You finished this miserable trip. Head back to the refinery. Let's head back to our scam refinery. And scam refine these scammed goods so that we can get our scam gadgets. When the economy drops, you bet we'll see T3 jump in price since people never go for it. When crafting drops, that's going to be so interesting to see those like commodities getting mined in mass. Yeah, with like the Orion or the new RSI ship. The RSI ship's supposed to be bigger than the mole, right? It's like in between the mole and the uh, reclaimer. Oh, my thrusters are damaged. Just dump it, don't refine it? What do you mean? Like, just sell it? Is it not worth it to refine this stuff? Don't really care if a game is dead as long as you get your dopamine. As long as it's getting supported. Like, this game could be as dead as they come, but the amount of people who are into it as a dead game, keep it alive. Like, people are simultaneously saying, this game doesn't make any sense, look at how much money they've raised, and also are saying, the game is dead. It's like, where's the money coming from? <laughs> yes, I will be grabbing my helmet, thank you. Y'all, I make you angry about the helmet, huh? I need to give you like a, a soundboard thing, a sound that you guys can spawn. Just like, get your helmet! Space Tomato, get your helmet! Blow out my eardrums. Have I seen the new Aesop rework on the PTU? It's amazing. What did they do? What did they do to the Aesop? That, that could be described as amazing. That's such a unique word for the Aesop screen. Hey, Jin. Oh, it's good to see you, dude. I hope you're doing well. Been a little while. Hope things are good. It's still in utero. It is a youngin. Isn't the patch going live today, potentially? So if you may lose the refinery job, did they say that? Patch is going live today? That could actually be potentially bad. In which case, yeah, I could then just... Wait, hold on. I'm realizing that I don't think I've ever sold minerals from the prospector. Can you... How does that even work? Do you just go to the admin office? It works so much more smoothly. Never worked better or as fast as this. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, it's way just said maybe they made it work. <laughs> maybe that's good enough. 
Down to the refinery. Okay. That's right. Yeah, the one to the left of the refining screens lets you sell. Well, I'll see how much I can make from it. Hopefully it's something good. I don't actually... I don't know what even the scale of these minerals... What is it, double in price still when you refine a mineral? My landing is not completed. Give me a bay. Come on. Come on. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Okay. They put me, like, all the way on the other side of the space station. I had a hangar right next to me. Rude. Why did I just lose control? <laughs> this thing just like oversteered like crazy. What is, oh, is it the gravity? Oh my God. The gravity's got me messed up. Not like this. Please. God dang it. I gotta turn on my VTOL thrusters and get the ship flipped over. This is madness. Ugh. There we go. Holy crap. So that is a preview of how the heat system is going to mess you up in the future. All right. Now we can just land normally. That's fun. That's a it's good family-friendly fun. Like a glove. <laughs> Are people trying to sell unrefined? Refine everything you're in bulk game now. That's what I was wondering, if it was worth it going unrefined. I really do hope that these stations, the cargo and refinery stations, end up getting their own specific cargo and refinery hangars, so you don't have to go through... Like, imagine having to go through the commercial section of the refinery station when you're just here to drop off some minerals. We need more variety in hangars. If that means that I have to go into the menu and select a specific type of hangar, so be it. Suddenly playing Elite for a second there. I feel like Elite was, uh... The only hard part about Elite for me when it came to landing was the fact that, like, the little mail slot was rotating. Threw me off the first few times. Yo, my landings are pristine, okay? The ship didn't explode. So I would say it's on the success list. That death counter, that death counter has not gone up. May I remind you. A refinery terminal in the hangar? Hmm. I don't know about all that. Yeah, prospector mining is still worth it, but you gotta switch up your strategy to do it. You need to, you can't be picky. This is like, get in, get stuff, get out. Go tier two if you can. Be happy if you find something tier one, but it's definitely a, a speed game now. You don't think you ever went through the mail slot in Elite without the auto docking once you realized it was an option? Wait, you could auto dock? Plus one for the flips. Dude, it's the flips that make a landing. Who is it? Uh, Jack Axton? Who just nails the flips? 
Nails him. I gotta do a cargo hauling session with that guy at some point on stream. Maybe next week we could do that? You know who is coming on next week? Mrs. Tomato. We're doing another Mrs. Tomato joint stream next week. We'll check out some new gameplay together. She'll talk a bunch of smack. And we'll probably kill some folks and die. Make sure to show up to that one on Wednesday, but... Just like every other week, I will have uh, the weekly announcement up on Monday that will talk about all the details going on. Okay, gonna grab my helmet. The, okay, there's... I just don't even have a helmet. That's weird. Back to the refinery we go. Or the Galleria. Refining T3 materials. What you gonna do? No point in leaving them if I don't have the space. Mm, where is the armor shop here? Telgan, or Teglan, thank you for checking out the stream. <laughs> Very entertaining for a dead game. You know what they say about the dead. I don't actually know what they say. I was hoping you guys would legitimately know. Okay, confirmed we grabbed a helmet. But now I have to go get more components. Jeez. How is it that I made a loss today so far? Like a significant loss. Like at least 100,000 in losses. <laughs> it's not, not a good session so far. But it'll pay off in the long run, right? Diablo 4 has been great. Dare you say Blizzard may have done a great job. Really? I thought, I thought people were talking about the beta not being great. They make some changes. One day the hells will empty and the dead will walk the earth. Yes, that is exactly it. And when they say dead, they mean dead games, specifically. Okay, I'm gonna need one of these. In fact, I'm gonna get two so that we can use them regularly. I'm gonna get a boar max. Gonna get, uh, we already have the saber, so I just need the focus three. That should be good. Need a helmet command. That's what we need. Mrs. Tomato, can we add a helmet command to the chat? Or, or, or Drazen? Either mod. SC has more re regular viewership on Twitch than Elite. What is the dead game again? I mean, Elite kind of... I wouldn't say Elite is dead, but it's... It's been hurting. They did scuff group gameplay. Just isn't the way to go, despite them putting effort into it. So it's a better single-player game? Mining's going well, Memory. Uh, well, okay. I say well. It went to okay. I made some mistakes. It really hampered this session. We're going to do a little bit better this time. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval. System. Most of the profit you get from the mining tier 3 goes to the refining costs. So wouldn't it be a good idea then to allocate your tier 3 materials to paying for the refining of your tier 2s? So that you're not eating into your tier 2 profits? Yeah, Elite's kind of a low bar right now. Not to say it's a bad game, but the de developers have not helped it out in maintaining its community. I mean, we had a podcast episode. For those who haven't seen it, by the way, I had Yamix and Down to Earth Astronomy on my podcast a couple of weeks ago to talk about Elite Dangerous and kind of why what happened to it happened. They had a lot of really good insights and good things to say. I would check that out. It's on the second channel. I also just had Yamix on the podcast today. For those who don't know, Yamix is another YouTuber. Who has a lot to say about Star Citizen, uh, criticism-wise. 
So we had a slightly heated but very interesting and efficient talk about the problems of Star Citizen and what he would like to see them do with the game. So that'll be out on Monday if you want to check that out. Why can't I access this? Why can't I access my prospector? I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I do not like this. Let me access my ship. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to attach them when we're out on the field. So I'll just throw these in my backpack. And we'll make do. Let's get going. Yeah, Yemix did a lot of elite stuff. I He also did apparently a lot of planet side stuff, which I didn't know. We talked a little bit about that. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Like that Yemix is not afraid to poke at the flaws, but still acknowledges the good things. Yeah. It is good to acknowledge where there are problems. Uh... Obviously, I don't think the game is a scam. I don't think the game is dead, but it does have its problems, as they do. Load another one first, that usually does it for you. Oh. Right, that is right, you're right about that. Hold on, let me go do that. It'll be faster than getting out when we get to the location. Forgot about that workaround. You almost never put the blame on devs unless it's actually obviously the fault of the devs and it never is. But aren't the devs also management in, at Frontier? Like, they they are managing themselves, right? Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. All right, I'm going to store this. I'm going to deliver this. You saw a YouTube thumbnail from CoffeeZilla about $500 million <laughs> scam and immediately thought he was talking about SC. Yo, if CoffeeZilla covered Star Citizen, that would be nuts. That would get so many new eyes on the game. Oh my God, that would be huge. What is... What do I have to do to make this work? Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Relog. That's a lot. Okay, how about now? Are you serious? Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. <sighs> Mining or YouTube channels don't recommend refining tier three. Why not? What if you have the space? Oh, yes, yes. Praise be, we did it. Gosh. All right, cool. In that case, I need to transfer my stuff back to the station. Who started deciding what is tier of materials? Um, CIG, I believe. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if it's official. I think it's official. I'm pretty sure... They said there are common materials, tier two materials, and tier one materials. But I might just be remembering something fake. Don't do this now. Oh, come on. Just because I left the Moby Glass?
Come on, please. There we go. Finally, we got our components. Welcome Sheesh. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle Just change your pods for Argo pods. Thanks to the guy who gave that tip. It is a great tip. Fantastic move for some solo mining. A good way to prepare for solo. Your chat must be experiencing a wicked lag time. Um, why is that? Make sure that you're you're on live, and that might make it come through. Um, persuaded terror. How's it going? Good to see ya. Okay, I'm gonna put these other components on the ship here. And we're good to go, finally. CoffeeZilla covers legit scams, so the only possibility I could see of him covering it would be a CIG added crypto or something. Yeah, that's the case with CoffeeZilla. He's really good at it too. He blew the heck up over like the last two years. Just insanely like, it's crazy to see a channel do that, do something like that. Mm. Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you have one work order, dedicated miners have made many refinery jobs stacked, go ahead and transport all that tier three material for multiple refinery orders, you'll learn the hard way. But like, I'm I'm not a dedicated miner. So like you're you're giving advice for people who are playing this really hardcore when it comes to mining, but I'm just doing this kind of on a once every couple of weeks basis. I feel like the advice that they're giving might not apply to everybody the same way. I basically mine for like three hours every two weeks. Yeah, coffee makes incredible content. Very good stuff. Incredibly thorough, just like super journalistic. Presentation sometimes can be a little off, but overall I like the channel a lot. Just got here. What was the Argo tip? Uh, if you can switch out the bags. You can switch out the Argo bags and put them on the uh, Prospector and get some more uh, space. Prediction is that the mole pod hack won't be fixed immediately. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it would be that important. Join back and you guys are still butthurt talking about scam. We're talking about CoffeeZilla, the YouTube channel. <laughs> hello, hello Colossus. How you doing? Wait, you came back? Why'd you come back? Are you enjoying it? Come on. Come on. I know you like the, the, the soft, quaint sounds of quantum travel. I know you sleep with a spaceship plushy pillow at night. Don't lie to me. <laughs> you love to just be able to buy the bigger pods as an upgrade. Yeah, that would be great. I really want that. Nice little customization. Yeah, somebody said that they actually used the Argo salvage mission to get the pods, so can confirm. Hey Silas, how you doing? Who needs white noise to sleep when you can use the quantum travel instead? And my mumbling in the background. Bedspread from the captain's quarters of the Starfarer. I would be jealous of that. Those are cool. That's a cool bedspread. Quality. It's quality stuff.
Well, my thing is like they could sell the bags at a later date, but there's not really much room for the bags to be expanded in size. So if you actually wanted them to carry more, how would you be able to explain that other than maybe making them a little taller? But making them any taller is going to break the clearance of the ship itself, so I'm not sure how they're going to do that. Ooh, let's go to Arcorp mining area. That's fun. Person that came out. Oh, already read that. That's the differentiation whether to refine tier three depends on how much mining you do. Yeah, I think there is there is a uh, probably some crossover there, and hopefully whenever we get crafting, it becomes more useful to to refine them too. Username. Night Under, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Just found out your other job is closing down as well. Oh, this economy or is really making times hard. Dude, I'm sorry. You don't gotta give me super chats if that kind of stuff's happening, man. It's rough right now. It, it really is. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Pilot seats should recline into beds for logging out. Change your mind? Imagine what's going to happen to the Drake seat. It's just going to fall over and, like, stab you in the back or something. Want to head over to these hills. Looked like an interesting place to mine. All right. Where are we? What do we have here? Oh, looks like we got something nearby. We're running this in your TV, TV instead of the fireplace. I actually used to um, play, there is somebody on YouTube who used to summarize like all of the Star Citizen videos into just kind of like eye candy cuts. So they'd get all of the B-roll and they put it to like some stellar drone music. I would just play those all the time. It was good, good stuff to look at. Uh, guys, I will be right back. A little bio break. Give me like two minutes, folks.
All right. We're back and we're good. I lied. I got some water too. I was needing some more hydration. We're back. Let's uh, hope that we find something good like right away. Ba -ba -ba. Raid. I'm not done with my stream. Can't tell me to end my stream early. What are we looking at here? Those were rock mineables. Let's see what's over here. What is this? Only job you can imagine enjoying going to would be talent search. Wait, what? Did I miss something? What happened in conversation while I was gone? Oh, Richard, thank you for the uh, super chat. Appreciate you. Good discussion about the tier three refining. Thank you. Thank you. I honestly can't wait for crafting so that tier three becomes a thing. Like imagine just scooping up 600 SEU of copper, not because you're gonna sell it, but because like you can make a bunch of, I don't know, other stuff with it that you can go sell. Oh man, they really get me with these rock mineables. It feels like there's a lot more rock mineables now. If I only had one ship on pledge, what would it be? Probably MSR. Your Aunt May could remember what the digits on her feet were called, so you have to keep reminding her. Tomei Toe. <laughs> Tomei Toe. Bishop, thank you for that. Appreciate you and the sub. Four months now. That's the better part of 2033. Which has been probably the least crazy year so far of this decade. Thanks for the sub, man. How's the solo mining going? Uh, it's, it's okay. You really gotta, you gotta take what you can find. I think being picky solo mining is gonna end up with you spending way too much time out here and not enough time returning and selling, which is what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to get in and get out. You approve of my MSR decision? I approve of your approval, but I will say this, I am very much becoming uh i am likely going to be looking at the spirit more than the star runner okay maybe that rock's glitched how about this one oh look it's copper our old friend The E1. The E1 is going to be an interesting one. Holy crap, that rock is huge! Agrisium and copper. I'm looking for Boris. This thing's massive. I'll probably record this one. Let's take down these one. This one's statistics. Where are we? Arcorp mining. Oh, nice. A festinite. It's huge, though. We would never be able to break this. 593. Not on our own, at least. And that's, that's the biggest change to the prospector mining, is that you're going to come across a lot of rocks you won't be able to break. We're looking at copper at 50%. What is this? E1 and A1 spirits have rear facing turrets. C1 is rear facing tractor beam. Tractor beam is going to be pretty cool. Uh, it's just more barrel. Again, this is the type of stuff that you probably should go for, but I would prefer a bigger concentration than what we're seeing from these rocks. Let's see what we've got over here. A free look view of my ship? Yeah, it looks like this. Okay, see, so I'll take this. This seems good, Laronite's good. In fact, let me record this one down. Laronite and Terranite will 
are decent. Five thousand six hundred and seventy-six. We've got thirty-six percent Laronite and forty percent copper. You don't really see too many uh, of these things with like multiple materials, three materials in it. Are there tools out there to help you find your position in game so you can make it back to where you found things? You can like drop a box maybe, but no, we don't have the ability to leave way markers yet. You've been soloing with the mole and already find enough rocks you can't break with both the Hoff and the Helix. Wow. Oh, crap. The laser is not... is too powerful. So I have to change my distance. There we go. Don't apologize for distracting me. Chat can chat. I'm supposed to like... What? Oh, come on. Are you serious? I'm so far outside of optimal. Why did it knock off my components, dude? It wasn't even overcharged. Biggest you sold it so far is 18,000. Yeah, you can put beacons to transport to your ship. There are workarounds to do that kind of stuff. Oh, it's a bug. Is it like full on broken? Is that. Oh no. I only had one of these. Ah, freaking Star Citizen. Oh, you can't add any. You have to unlock to even add things. Gotta have to unlock all ports and then get back out. Biggest griefer is the server itself. It is possible to solo mine, indeed. <laughs> Kept my receipt. If only. I never keep my receipt in Star Citizen because it never lasts that long anyways. Tell you guys what, I wouldn't be playing this game near as much if I wasn't streaming it. <laughs> Let's try this again. 
Is there only, is there like a key binding? That you have to, that's not bound by default that I have to, yeah, you have to. Of course there is. Of course there's a key binding that's not bound. That does one of the most important things to your ship that you could possibly do. Just don't bind it. Just don't, just don't make it easy for the players. That'd be crazy. Oh, it is key binded. Right alt? I press left alt. Please let it have been left alt. It's right alt. Hold the F and right click. Well, that's the thing. Why isn't this, why doesn't this just unlock everything? Whatever. I take it back. They did a key binding. Okay, I'll give them that. I was angry. I'm sorry, Star Citizen. Forgive me. <laughs> a warning should come up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there was a warning that popped up. See, so you never know. You never know if there's going to be a warning on the screen or if it's one of those things that doesn't have a warning on the screen. But that's part of the joy of learning this game. Did I just delay 3.20? There we go. Please, just... Yes. Okay. We at least did that. Unfortunately, I don't have the focus module anymore, which was the most important thing we can't we brought with us So this really sucks And I'll just put it in my backpack Oh, don't worry about it username. Thank you Have ever tried to wire 200 Ethernet cables to racks of servers? No, but I have tried to make OBS work. <laughs> I think the most frustrating thing I've ever done is probably one of the projects I did in school. Whoa! We were tasked with designing a docking mechanism for a microsatellite that didn't use any electricity, magnetism, or motorization of any sort. It was like a kinetic docking system for two, I think it were microsatellites, they might have been nanosatellites, and it took us so freaking long to figure it out. That was way more frustrating than this. Especially because, like, you get the things fabricated and stuff, and then they just break. Just waiting for a nomad loaded up with spare parts to pull up. 21% layer 9. Okay, why not? It's not a ton. Didn't even get an SCU out of it. Gross. How did we do it? We actually used a design that NASA's using now. Uh, they didn't take it from us. No, I'm not, <laughs> not like that. We took one of the designs that NASA currently uses for their uh, ISS, the International Space Station docking. We downsized it. We changed up some of the angles of the materials based on the weight and the masses that we were working with. Um, and then we built in an extra locking mechanism that they don't have, kind of like just a push pin. But basically we would make it so that the we had to be able to collide at a certain angle, at a certain offset, and a certain velocity. So we made three concentric fins that sort of, they all sort of pointed towards the same area from very specific angles so that if they hit each other like this, they would slowly straighten out until they came into contact and then two, two bolts would like latch shut on the back end. It, it's hard to explain like that, but 
Um, it was a lot of fun, but it took us like seven months to figure it out and get it working. I was a uh, mechanical engineering. And it was a one-time use, yes. It was basically, so the idea is they would have these things, they're called um, uh, CubeSats. If you look them up, you'll see they're, they're, all, they're in all kinds of projects. Universities use them, companies use them. All types of different entities use these things called CubeSats. And what you can do is basically install whatever instrumentation you need on the CubeSat and then find a launch partner like uh, NASA, or SpaceX, or the European Launch Association or whoever. You ask them if you can tag on your CubeSat and at some point they will release it out into the atmosphere. And the, the idea of it is that it's small, it's compact, it has no propulsion, it has no electronics like besides what is working on it. And it has like not much weight added to the rocket. So we had to figure out a way for those satellites to launch up into space on those rockets and then meet up with their counterparts that are already up there to connect for a one-time use. Good times. I miss that. Did we get all the Laranite here? I think there was another rock over this way. <laughs> rock and stone. That's my new Logan, or uh, slogan. Logan. Yeah, CubeSat projects are cool. I never actually got to see one get launched, but saw a lot of projects that used them. Really cool stuff. Oh my god, this is huge. I can't do this. I will record it, though. Our corp. Forty thousand kilograms in mass. Are we all assuming these are kilograms they're giving us? Now you know why. <laughs> Big brain. I'm not gonna lie, I was, uh... I had a lot of fun on that project, but I mainly did all the stress testing. That's what I was good at. It was, the, it was a group effort. There were like four of us on the team. And we definitely were all needed. Yeah, it was our senior project. And then it was in cooperation with like a aerospace company. Space mass units. Oh! Quantanium is how it looks like we're going to end today. Okay. I'm down for that. Good find. I will record this one. Always record where you find Quantanium. And anybody who is in the org and GII, you have access to this spreadsheet. This is where everybody in our org puts in... Um, puts in all of the data about rocks we find, so you can use this spreadsheet to figure out where you need to go to find what you're looking for. Copper at 70%. Okay, I am going to... Yeah, I wish I could flush my cargo and just take the Quantanium. Actually, I should see what it's going to look like first. Yep, Damar. Uh, yeah, the spawn locations are consistent now, so it will always, like, if you find something somewhere, there's a, there's a chance it will continue to show up somewhere, at least on the moon. Alright, let me see what happens if we put the laser in this thing real quick.
All right, I think I want a Bormax on here. I think I could pull this off. Um, Raga, slight correction. It's Red Monster SC. So we're going to put this little attachment on here. Okay. Put it on the rock here. And then we will line up the signatures. Okay. Maybe I should pick it back up. Oh man. Okay, so this is awkward. <laughs> but you know what? Star Citizen. Wavelength accuracy. We want to get it up to like at least 90%. Eighty six percent. Ninety one percent. I think that's the best we're going to get. Oh, God dang it. I can't activate it. Like, it's a joke. It's a sick joke. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I don't think I can pull it off with the tractor beam. Okay, I fell. Do I have any more? Might have to place it again on a more level surface. That's what I'm trying to do. I just want to get it. I just can't get it off. No, I don't have another one of those. <laughs> and the sun's going down. I just want to activate it. I just want to press the button. Please. There's nothing I can do. Oh! 
Oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, somebody kill me! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I, just, I just fucked up. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, guys, I think that's, uh, I think that's it. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to wait for somebody to come get me from here. That is going to take so long. Oh, God, I just lost so much stuff. You're an embarrassment. <sighs> well, I hope everybody was able to learn from me. And, uh, don't go solo mining. <laughs> And don't, don't shoot things when you're angry at them. Um, no, to be honest, I think it's working. I think solo mining is good. Obviously, these glitches and stuff that pop up make it very difficult, as everything in this game is made difficult by the glitches, but the gameplay itself is there. I really freaking wish I'd gotten to test this gadget. That's... I don't want to do a rescue beacon, guys. I, I was going to be done as soon as I finished with this rock. It's just going to be... I'm just going to get rescued and then and then end it. Um, but yeah, I think... Solo mining is in a decent spot. I would like to see more. I want to do more of this. I think I'm going to probably try and do some of this either on Monday or on Tuesday stream. Um... And try to get more use out of the components and gadgets, which clearly almost the entire time I didn't even get to use because of glitches. So we'll continue this again. I'm working at it. We're trying on it. We'll get there at some point, I think. But thank you all for joining me. It's a pretty solid way to end the stream. The button lit up yellow when you had the mouse left of the screen, but you never clicked. I was clicking. I was clicking constantly. Um... I was basically just moving the mouse around the screen and clicking every split second. Let's see. I'm going to send you on. Yeah, I like I like the solo mining. I actually like how this is becoming more uh, unique. Like the gameplay is not the same every time, which is really cool. And once we get a hang of where everything is and where we have to go to find certain materials, it'll get even better that way. So like I said, I'm done with this for now, just doing the um, solo mining today, but I will be back on this on Monday and Tuesday. Keep an eye out for the podcast episode with Yamix. It's a pretty good one. We got some good stuff coming in that. Um, and exclusive video just came out for supporters today. So if you are a Twitch subscriber, a YouTube channel member, um, if you are really any any supporter of stars of uh, space tomato you have access to that exclusive video it goes over some of the major hits of lore in the game and how it's going to kind of define the gameplay and how you might be able to get ahead if you know it so check that out if you are a subscriber it's on discord it's on youtube it's wherever you want to find it and um thank you everybody for being here i'll see you all in the next one have a good weekend